Hello everybody and welcome back to The Godfather episode number 4 and before we step onto the pitch we're going to look here just to show you how much of a monumental cock up um, Giuseppe made, not me, or Giuseppe um, we bought a house in Minsk where we assumed our stadium was turns out we're in this place, Lunanets, which is only 3 hours away 4.5 if you take the train, which Giuseppe may need to do because he doesn't drive hasn't got his licence back as of yet so this is where we are I've bought him a house He's not going to live alone. You remember in the last episode, one of our old friends from prison, Giancarlo Federici, has moved over to Belarus. He gave us a little call and said, Gaffer, I need somewhere to start again. And you're doing so well in Belarus, I want to come and jump on board. So the two of us, we've, not, well, <laughs> we've bought a house together and we may have started our own business as well. So... We moved to this district. Um, I've got no other ulterior motive. I just really like the area. Something tells me it's going to be the new stag weekend hotspot. So much potential to be one of the stag hotspots of the world. Not Europe, not Belarus, the world. Slutsk district in Belarus. And that's why we've invested in some real estate. Look at this wonderful house. So Giuseppe and Giancarlo will be living together here. It's big enough to house the two of them. It's got a wonderful little room here with um, no doors. Can't afford doors. We just have open open plan. That's what it's all about. It comes with a free plant, a lot of wood as well. And this room, I'm not... I don't know what room it is. I'll be honest with you. It could be like a garden room, like a conservatory. Um, answers in the comments. If you know what room this is, please let me know. It just baffles me. But this is why we've bought it. Giancarlo and Giuseppe will spend the majority of their time here, playing pool, honing their skill outside of the football pitch. One shower between us, we might have to take turns, but again, from prison life, this is a luxury. And this must be some sort of steam room. Like you can pour water on the stones and then hit it with an old herb. I think that's the tradition in Belarus. But that's our house. Like I say, Big error. Our house in Minsk, we've kept. Giuseppe wants to make sure that he's got a legacy. He's making money, so he's decided to rent out his property. And he's rented it to somebody who's joined our club. As part of the package, let me show you. Where is this young man? Demchenko. Here he is. From Dynamo Minsk. He showed interest in the house. Put down a deposit and he didn't spot the contract. Giuseppe the Sly Fox said, If you move into this house, you go on loan to Granite for the rest of the season. And here he is, this wonderful little midfielder who is probably going to play Mazzala because he's quite good at that. He's physical, he's pacey, he's got so much technical ability. So, welcome to Nikita Demchenko, who is renting off us in Minsk but traveling daily down to Slutsk, which is where we're playing today. On top of that, we've got some new kits. So much news today, so much news. Look at these bad boys. We've got for a black Godfather-like home kit, a wonderful red, black and white away kit, and a third kit, which is just green and yellow. Beautiful, beautiful kits there, made from FM Custom Kits. Make sure you check him out. A very good, good guy is Lorenzo. And you may notice the sponsors. Gigi's Gelato. Gigi's. What could Gigi's mean? Giuseppe and Giancarlo. They've set up a business of gelato. Believe it or not, there's not a single gelato place in the whole of Belarus. I've looked at it. There's ice cream, but no traditional Italian gelato. So Giuseppe and Giancarlo have purchased this wonderful little place. And this is that business, Gigi's Gelato. Giuseppe Giancarlo are making gelato. They're taking gelato to Belarus. There wasn't a single gelato place in Belarus. We did our market research. There's a few ice cream parlors there, but none of this standard. So we'll see if this can help him move up the tier into the Godfather status. But now, let's get into the football, shall we? Okay, so since you last joined us, the board draw against NAFTA, nil-nil, few yellow cards and me getting confused at shouts, that was all to write home about. But since then, look how well we're doing. 
We are bossing it. We've only conceded one goal in the league, four clean sheets, which sees us top of the league. Not bad. I'd say above expectations. I don't think we're going to win the league by any stretch of the imagination. We're due to finish sixth. Dnepro Mogilev. Oh, I've heard of those before. Maybe we played them last season. That's quite a nice little stadium. 7,000. Anyway, digressing, as always. Um, we're due to finish sixth, but we are top. And we're doing well. We're playing good football. And that is because of this tactic. Similar to one I've used previously, but gone a bit more defensive. Um, we were playing up here as attacking wing-backs. It just wasn't working out. So we shifted back to the straight-back four, and it's working well. And like I say, today we go away to the wonderful place called Slutsk. Okay, this is the team we're running with today. Now, in case you don't know, in the Belarusian team, you have to have two under-20s starting in your level, which is a crazy rule if you think of it. Two under-20s is good for the development coming through, and it really has with Demchenko now, the under-20, and he's going to be there for quite some time. He's in a slot in nicely as that box-to-box midfielder alongside probably our best performer today, Bondarenko. Good little player. I think we should see some good things from that midfield pair. We're licked in, sat behind who, again, he's performed quite well. Um, league, maybe a little bit more. The Belarusian Cup, he's done sterling jobs. So, anyway, let's get into the team. We've got Kuzhol, Kristiakov, Kadarenkov, Jodakalara, and Krejko in defence. Uh, Lichten, Demchenko, Bondarenko, Ivanov, Aversky, and Sarpon. That's the team. Nailed the pronunciation. Job done. That's fine. We haven't got enough subs anyway. Demchenko, auto number. Number 12. Love it, mate. You very lucky, lucky man. <laughs> If we can win today, we've got a very good chance of going up because we are looking good on the pitch. And I just noticed something. Why can I pause settings? Sound is on. We don't have sound on, we don't. Not even fiddle with that. So I wouldn't know why it's come on. Right, let's demand a bit more of the bat. And it's our first highlight. Kujol on the ball. Goes long. It's clear by them. We are in the wonderful white and red kit. The away kits that FM Custom Kits has done for us. Let's zoom in, in a bit. You've got a better look at them. I'm sure you'll see that when we get highlights of all the goals we scored. But Craig clears, but Saichev mops it up. We've got players back, which is good. It's a great ball. It's a great ball. He's offside. Thank God for that. The sluts had crept offside. I'm not going to use any puns. I've got so many in the bag, but I'm not going to stoop to that level. I'm a mature man who doesn't find stuff like that funny. Demchenko on the ball now for his debut. Licked in, who's got an option out wide, and he finds him. Ronnie Cray, is he going to cut inside? He does. Licked in on the ball. We're on top of each other a bit by here, aren't we? On top of each other even more than the slut scheme. And Sarpon, June Sarpon, should have scored. Through on goal. His head went. It's cleared again. Come on, boys. We're doing okay. 59% possession. Two shots and goal to their zero. And it's a corner to those. Can we clear it? We do. Semenov's going to mop it up, though. Comes forward again. Goes back. Are we going to win the ball and break? Oh, there's a good challenge, but it's not good enough. And they're through, and that's a goal. Oh, they teased us before with a goal that was disallowed. But this time... The Slutsk were not teasing. It was for real. They scored a goal. Lovely little play, actually. Panasevic through and an easy finish in the end. Poor defending. And we concede only our second goal of the season. Hopefully, we get one back before half time because this has not been a good performance to date. And now Slutsk are up to fourth. But here we go. A highlight to us. Galagov, I'm going to call him. It's easy to say. June Sarpon, brilliant control mate. Ivanov, the 6 foot 5 beast. Oh, I think I need to move him back up top. He's not really slotted in there as an advanced playmaker. Who would have thought a 6 foot 5 immobile giant isn't good technically? Azurski should have scored as well. Up top, things have been moved around that maybe shouldn't have been. And Pankratov saves that with ease. We're quickly... Quickly moving up to half time. Expected goals for us are 1.25, but how many do we have? 0.005. No, 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 five even. And that's it, half time. And we look at the beautiful surrounding of Slutsk. Let's demand a bit more. What am I doing? Demanding more. It's a team talk. 
I'm stood outside on the bench on my own, demanding more, and everyone's sat in there waiting for me. Silly me. Right, now we'll demand a bit more, and I'm going to make some changes. Okay, so Ivanov, you're going to go up top for Aversky. Swap those two around. Kucherov's going to come on for Aversky. Is he the under-20 boy, though? No, he's not. He's old. Old and bad. Um, Artyuk is very good, though, isn't he? He can't play up top, though. He's got to finish in a six as well. Um, let's leave it for that for now. It's the half hour mark. Oh my word, how do they not score that? It's come off the beans on toast and gone out for a goal kick. Okay, we've got... Ah, oh, the minutes ticking by, but every highlight is shooting to those. But Bondarego clears it. Ivanov, this is what I want him. The big man up top. I want him out wide on the wing. Bringing down those balls. Demchenko, June Sarpon. Oh, great ball. Ivanov! Ivanov! He's gone up top and he's shot in from an absolute thunderbolt from his foot. What a very good finish that was. Can we zoom in a bit and have a look at these kits a bit more? Bondarenko into Demchenko and this ball coming up here from June Sarpon is just delicious. Ivanov, what a finish, my son. Third goal of the season. He has to play up top. He's not an advanced playmaker. Not by any stretch of the imagination. We need more subs. Gaiov is going to come on for Bondarenko. Swap those two around because Demchenko is better as a Mazala. The two kids on loan in the middle of the park. Let's see what they can do. Those young uns. Oh, we're still top. I'd love a win, but I will certainly take a draw against what's been a very good team. And we've not really performed that well. Mick Neves goes long, but Ronnie Cray picks it up. Ivanov, he can't get to it. Oh, it's a terrible, terrible bit of defending. That was an easy ball coming through. And that bicycle kick volley goes over. That's a brilliant throw in. Licked in, mops it up. Oh, terrible pass. Well, the quality has not been good in the second half from anybody. Ostrich on the ball. Goes wide to Gramada. Can he go back to Ostrich? He can. Terrible ball. Oh, this. Oh, the quality. Honest to God. Belarusian second league is, um, you know, as you'd imagine, not the pinnacle of the football career, but. What was that? That was disallowed as well. Jesus Christ, my keeper didn't move then. He was onside then, I'm sorry. Oh, it's the same guy as well. He had two goals disallowed. Corrupt football, maybe? Who knows? Not that they got previous. Look at that, defending. What are you doing? Chebata on the ball. Oh, Jesus. Come on, boys. We've played so bad. The ball comes through. That was our header. Oh, for God's sake. Apanasevic has scored what I believe to be his second goal of the game. After having two goals disallowed. Yeah. Why, what? No, I don't want to make a sub yet. And we've missed the goal. Yeah, a Pasanovic. Should have had four goals today. Um, Artyuk, you're going to go on as a Krako. But I'm also going to do that. That makes sense, doesn't it? We don't need a right back. Right backs are so 2007. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Demand a bit more. There we go. Oh, Apanasanovic is gone again. That boy, I need to look at signing him. He's causing me all sorts of trouble. I'm going into extra time. Oh, it's all over. We're going to lose our first game of the season. Absolutely battered by the Slutsk. God damn it. I'm going to throw a water bottle. Some are motivated, some are demotivated. I think that's what you find with a water bottle instant. There we go. We're still top of the league. Naftan are crawling up behind us. <laughs> crawling up behind us. What do you mean crawling up behind us? And that's it. Tagalogov is not happy how I've been handling team talks. Well, can I have a chat with you or what, mate? How do I do that? Let me um, discipline. Let me warn him for last game. You think that was bad, mate? Let me put my arm around you in a mafiosa type way. If your head doesn't improve, you could lose your head. I mean, place in the team. There we go. I'm the boss here, mate. Remember that, okay? You sleepy eye little. Anyway, before we get crazy and carried away, let's move on. Let's get this season well and truly underway. We're going to zip through May. June is not much happening in June. Two games, maybe some cup games we can sneak in. We're going to go all the way to the end of July. 
we'll play our first game in August to Orsha next on camera. I think we're going to zip through, and by then we'll have a nice little idea of how the league is looking. Get ready for a few more signings to boast this squad up a little bit more if we're not bankrupt by that point with how much money I'm spending. But okay, we're going to make money. Don't look into the finances of Belarusian football. Nothing makes sense. Okay, so there we go, guys. We'll be back in August for Orsha for episode five of The Godfather. If you have enjoyed that, please hit that thumbs up. It means an awful lot to me. I've been Johnny, JDFM. I'll see you guys soon.